Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Wolf Among Us. Once again, here we are on Bullfinch Street in front of the Woodland Luxury Apartments, which just so happens to be the humble living space of Mr. Big B Wolf. Uh, we can run over here, take a look at a nice little glass slipper shoes here. Yeah, I guess shoes by Cinderella would have been too obvious. <laughs> I am the Eggman Diner. <laughs> Uh, there, there are a couple pretty interesting nods in this game, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't think we can even head to this right side. It's like, nope, that part of the street is not important. Let's take a look at this. The plaque. Luxury apartments. Wish they wouldn't advertise that. Yeah, doesn't look too bad, but, yeah, you know. So, of course, these particular episodes of games are based off of fables, as you guys couldn't have guessed at this point. Let's take a look at the sign. Snow can sometimes be a disciplinarian. Snow, you say? Who could this snow you possibly be referring to? Come on out. All right, all right. Beauty. Hello, Big B. Hmm. I wasn't expecting anyone. I know this looks a little odd, but Does. there's an explanation, I swear. Why'd you hide when I walked up? Well, I didn't know who it was. Can't be too careful these days. Hmm. No, can't. Damn it, I'm late. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. Huh. He worries too much as it is, and it would just make my life a lot easier. Just please. Promise me? Look, whatever it is, it's between you and Beast. I'm staying out of it. I don't have time to go into it right now. I'll explain it all to you later. I will, but I have to go. Mm. It's not what you might be thinking. altercation. <laughs> hmm. Alright, so to the lobby of our lovely apartment here. Let's take a look at the mailbox. Do we have Been mail? Been a while since I got any mail. Hmm. Seventh day in a row. Seems really concerned about not having any mail. That's weird. Uh, let's take a look over here. This guy. Hey. Hmm. Actually, the suit of armor. I'm gonna look at it. My catcher needs to dust this guy. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> He's still asleep. Still asleep. Hey, wake up. Wake up. Time to wake up. Hey, you wink. <laughs> he's mm, probably for the best. He's he's sleeping next to a pot of coffee, and I like how he asked if he was asleep when he was clearly asleep. <laughs> uh, all right. So there's Bigby's name tag over here. Let's take a look at this. <laughs> Beast, Mister, and Mrs. Horner, Cole. All right, let's uh. Put this bad boy back up. Damn thing fell off again. Hate crime. Hate crime. Can we not put it back up? Damn thing fell off again. Okay, that's weird. Do I have to interact? Oh, there it is. That's kind of a convoluted way of doing things. How much longer is this gonna go on? 
All right, let's go. Let's go to sleep. Enough lollygagging here. I'm ready to, you know, hit the hay. I'm gonna go kick it in my old lovely dilapidated room. That'd be nice for us. Bigby, hey, wait up. Oh. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Um. Uh -oh. So, have you? I'm staying out of it. Out of what? Whatever it is, Beast. I'm not a marriage counselor. Damn it. Something's going on. Hmm. I'm ambivalent about the entire situation. say I love the aesthetic for this game I know I haven't mentioned it yet but you will not hear the end of it it's like amazing damn it it actually fits very well for this game uh, maybe not necessarily the Game of Thrones one which admittedly is not very good we might get into that later but for now Why do I even own this <laughs> should have got a smaller one yeah I think I'd rather have a bigger fridge than a smaller one, to be honest. But, yeah, for the most part, it looks amazing. It, it seems like something you'd see in, like, that movie Drive. Like, uh Bluebeard's file. Hmm. Never trusted this guy. Of course he didn't. All right, and we've also got Chinese food, apparently. Don't even remember ordering that. Probably a bad sign. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else over here. Let's activate this fan. At least this still works. <laughs> Should help. And... Oh my god. There's a giant pig on our couch thing. On our love seat. <sighs> oh, not again. Interesting. So we've got Colin the here. Hey, Colin, get up. All right, looks like he's sound asleep. Oh, hey, Big B. I'm in your chair, huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, damn pig. I'm tired, Colin. It's been a long day. Got a smoke? <laughs> of Thanks. Course. A couple thousand more of these will be even on that house you owe me. This has got to stop. You can't keep sneaking off the farm like this. The fresh air and sunshine pitch they sell you on is bullshit. I didn't escape out of the homelands to end up in some prison, okay? Don't send me back there, Big B. You don't know what it's like, okay? You haven't been there. Come on. That's a little dramatic. That for me? Nope. 
The house didn't blow itself down, Bigby. That's all I'm saying. Do with that what you will. Now, I'm not saying it's reason enough for me to have definitely been offered a drink, but, uh... It would have helped ease some of the pain you once caused me, yes. It also would have shown everyone how different you are now. <laughs> oh, man. I should take a sip. I really should. <sighs> if that was all you were saying, I'd be able to get some rest. I take it all back. This is why everyone hates you. Hmm. It is better to be feared than loved. You know who said that? Yeah, some sad asshole. Eating alone. But, uh, no. Um, hate's the wrong word. They fear you more than anything. You ate a lot of people back in your day. I thought we were all supposed to have a fresh start here. I can't change the past. Well, you can't change people's memories either. Look, I'm not saying it's fair. But it's real. People are scared of you. I mean, look at your hands. <laughs> Who'd you get in a fight with? A fable, right? I'm sure you're not going around punching Mondays. Wasn't my fault. I get the impression you say that a lot. <laughs> Peek is unimpressed. You think my job is easy? You try keeping a bunch of fables from killing each other. How do you think this all works? I don't know. How? By being big and being bad. By being big and being bad. Don't say that shit in front of people. It's embarrassing. Mm. That's the attitude that gets you in trouble. I'm sure you were shitty to everyone you came across tonight. Mm, not everyone. Name one. Hmm. Uh, I don't actually know her name. Awesome. Great example. Life is easier with friends, Bigby. And we live a long fucking time. I know you like this whole lone wolf thing you got going for yourself. But I've seen the way you look at snow, okay? You're not fooling me. Will you shut up? Well, maybe if my throat wasn't so parched, I wouldn't have to keep talking. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make sense. Just give sense. me a drink, please. Colin, wow. enough already. I haven't slept in two days. I went out a second story window, and I want to get in two seconds of shut eye before I. Look, if I give you this, will you let me sleep? Yeah, yeah, all right. Probably. Thanks, Big B. urgent Big B Snow Come with me hmm. Snow Snow What Sorry I'm What is it mm -hmm. What happened I just can't get into it this second. We need to hurry to... Hi. Hello. Good morning. Or evening. <laughs> yeah. Strange. These walls are paper thin. We need to be careful. We'll talk outside.
Let's take a look. 